All people on Earth deserve basic human rights. These rights may include the right to education, the right to health, and the right to personal security. What makes me passionate about doing this work is advocating for people who can't advocate for themselves. This big idea can change the world because we are taking at UC Davis a comprehensive look at human rights and humanitarian action. We have a perfect structure in this big idea. The UC Davis Global Human Rights Big Idea is based on the proposition that the human rights and humanitarian challenges of our contemporary world are so enormous and so daunting that it will take the entire force of a major research university like UC Davis to begin to try to address those problems. Our idea is to bring the full force of one of the world's leading research universities to bear on the world's most pressing human rights and humanitarian problems. The world today is looking for ideas for positive change. We've spent much time um, blaming refugees and migrants for our social problems. We are ideally poised to change the entire discussion of immigration and refugee protection through our work, our research, our teaching, and our policy advocacy. I can think of no other campus as diverse as the UC Davis campus in terms of student body and when it comes to scholarly interest in immigration, located in as diverse a region as UC Davis. The Mass Atrocity and Genocide Studies Center is one of the three proposed pillars of what will eventually become an institute for global human rights at UC Davis. This is a pillar that really is focused on pedagogy. It's focused on our students, it's focused on teaching, but also has a very important research component. I'd like to be optimistic and think that history doesn't repeat itself, but of course we know that it does. And uh, we know that it's very important to raise awareness and raise consciousness about myriad human rights violations that are happening. UC Davis School of Law was doing immigration before it was cool. We had an immigration law clinic that allows students under the guidance of faculty members to represent immigrants who are facing removal from the United States. Besides the asylum work, uh, the clinic students provide representation to lawful permanent residents, legal immigrants. So our clinic is able to help people in dire need. At the same time, the students are able to learn the lawyering skills that need to be learned to be a lawyer. I'm currently in Beirut, Lebanon, where one of the largest pro humanitarian projects ever undertaken by UC Davis in the Middle East is currently underway to address perhaps the most pressing of those challenges, which is the fact that 65 million people are displaced or refugees today. This is a project developed to extend and expand opportunities for higher education to refugees from the war in Syria and elsewhere, but also other at-risk youth. And it's built around the Article 26 Backpack Project. And it's named for the 26th article of the Universal Declaration of Human Rights, which tells us that education is a human right, including access to higher education. None of this can happen without donor support. I have students who come to my office every day who are really passionate. They come to the human rights minor. Eventually, we're dreaming about having a major as well. And they want to go out and do things. They want to do internships, but they just don't have the resources. A lot of them are kind of struggling to put themselves through school. They're paying for their own education. They're working from multiple jobs. So I would love it if we had some resources, some endowments, some scholarships available to help connect these students to, to the experiences that are out there. Why do I feel so passionate about human rights? And why am I so confident in UC Davis's role in the protection and promotion of those rights? It's because I've lived in places like Lebanon, Syria, Iraq, Turkey, and Egypt, where human rights are routinely violated, and people live in terrible conditions under the worst forms of tyranny and oppression you might imagine. And I am certain that those societies in which human rights are protected and promoted are societies that are more peaceful, they're more secure, they're more prosperous, and they help build a better world, the kind of world I want my children to grow up in.